Greetings everyone and welcome back. This is where we left last time. So we're supposed to have a print here of employees, but unfortunately we don't have that. So let's go ahead and check what's wrong. So inside of this is what it should be printed on our web page, but unfortunately it's not there it's because we have a space here. We should not have a space there so let's go ahead and see if we now give employees uh, printed and sure enough we do so what we're going to do right now we're going to bring in the theme that we had created earlier because there's the same dashboard that we're going to use for this application so i'll go ahead inside my uh, desktop and then if you remember we created this folder and I'm going to open this file inside the Visual Studio code and here we we're going to have our, our theme so what I can do I'm going inside the views I'm going to create enough another folder I'll call it layouts and into the layout, I'll create another file called master.blade.php and I'm sure I created this wrongly so I'm going to rename it and I'll have a period instead of a comma there like that and now in, I'm just going to copy this all of it for now and I'll go inside my master and I'm going to paste it but I'll go ahead and I'm going to copy this section here I'm going inside my employee list I'll get rid of this I'll say uh, extends extent uh, admin then the layouts then the master and I will also going to have uh, a section I'm not going to have section name here just going to have it as a content I'm going to say end section section and into the here I'll paste the contents on my page that I copied from the master which is on this one and inside my master here i'm going to say i'll get rid of this and i will say yield uh, content and that should bring in our our employee list page which is home so we should see home printed we go back to your browser we refresh this admin layout must uh, not found again so it's inside uh it's not inside admin it's actually it's uh out of the admin folder that should do the trick yeah and now we have uh, our dashboard imported inside our our page and we have our home here which is uh, a good thing so after that uh, what we're going to do right now we're going to create um, our employee model that it's going to store our database so let's go ahead and I'll say I'll just not get up and instead of creating the controller this time around, I'll just create a model. 
it's still going to be inside employee folder and instead of employee controller it's going to be employee model like that uh, again i'll create a migration for my employees and this one just going to say create table just going to call it employees and create will be the same as employees sorry create it goes to employees HP Edson make migration create table employees create equals to employees and we have our migration created successfully and same as our model created also so let's go ahead and uh, open our migration employee table this is the table that has just been created what i'm going to do i'm going to create um some other columns string and this one is just going to be employee name so i'll have uh, employee name like that no of course that and after employee name i'm going to have the uh, employee image which i'm going to have it it's knowable knowable so that we can leave it without uh, passing anything inside the image and uh, another property of an employee I'm going to have is the email and another one also is the employee form and the last one you can add as many properties of an employee as you like but for now I'm just going to have uh, the integer just going to have uh, uh, those few and you can add as many as you like and this one is going to default to one whereby one will be active and zero will be inactive so that is our employees uh, migration I'm also going inside the uh, models and I want to define some properties of our employee model now what I'm going to do the final one will be the table which will be just call it protected sorry protected uh table this they should not be there it's supposed to be employees and uh have public fillable which is going to have uh these fields here I go to the end and I'll say like that and now we've defined our mass assignable for employees we'll just put the token here like 
like that. So after that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to define the database that we're going to use. I have not done that yet. Instead of Laravel, I'm just going to say uh, the tables. Uh, the username will be root and password will be none. So uh, let me go ahead and open my PHP my admin localhost PHP my admin and of course I'm not searching. My admin. And it opens localhost PHP my admin console and here I'm just going to paste in the data table the the database name that we just copied from our environment variable and after that what I'm going to do just going to say php adson then my group php adson migrate and we migrate our table successfully. So uh, we've already prepared our database uh, and then created our migrations on our models. We're going to stop here in this video. When we come back, we create um, a factory so that we can uh, seed some, some data inside our data tables. Uh, tab our data tables, uh, database so that we have some employees to deal with so thank you very much for being with me on this one i'll see you in the next lecture